Yo, what's the plan? Davon X Scott here, and if you're the owner of a phone with a curved display, you know the struggle of trying to find a screen protector. And every time you put it on, like the edges of it kind of raised up and all of that. I have an iPhone 10, my girlfriend have a Pixel 2 XL, and both of our phones, the screen protectors just start raising at the edge for no apparent reason, actually. Kind of have a reason, the screen's curved. But um, yeah, I mean, I use a few screen protectors that were really good, but on the iPhone 10, but the Pixel 2 XL, to be specific, was just horrible like no screen protector would fit on perfect and that was a huge problem so when the company reached out to me whitestone dome and asked me if i want to check out their screen protector for the iphone 10 i was like of course so they sent it over i put it on the iphone 10 and legitimately it is the best screen protector that i ever use in my entire life it's much more than a screen protector it's a whole it is a whole entire experience when i put it on the iphone 10 i was like this this is something special so I hit them up i was like can I have one for the Pixel 2 XL too? I mean, this is the real test. No screen protectors could have hold on properly on this Pixel 2 XL. So I was like, sure, we're going to send you one for the Pixel 2 XL. So they send it. Open it up. In the packaging, you have the screen protector. You have the kind of case thingy that have to hold the phone in it. You have a bunch of stuff. You have the glue. You have the bridge. You have glue absorbent. You have... Is, this screen protector is a, mo is, is, a, is a process. This is the most intricate, most unique screen protector process and installation process that i ever see in my life when you buy a white stone dome screen protector you buy an experience i know that's a lot to say about a screen protector and by the way this is not a sponsored video there's not any kind of video where they pay me to promote the product or anything they just sent me two sets free one for the iphone 10 one for the pixel 2 xl and i just liked it so much that i have to give it huge huge kudos so to install the screen protector, you have to fit the phone into the kind of bridge that they give you. Is it a bridge? I don't know what's the name of it you'd call it. Let me just call it the, the thing, the underneath thing and the top thing. So it have two clear pieces, the underneath where you rest the phone and the top that you rest over the phone to make sure the screen protector aligned perfectly. So you rest the phone in the bottom thing. Then you put the, once you put the phone inside there, they actually give you stickers to stick over your speaker so that none of the glue actually spills into the speaker grill or anything like that. Then you put the top thing over the phone with the stickers already in the speakers to make sure that the glue will go into it. I see that already. Once you finish with that, you're pretty much ready to put the screen protector on. But in my case, I actually had a tempered glass screen protector on so I needed to peel it off. Once I peel that off, I use one of the alcohol wipes, wipe down the display and everything, make sure it's spick, span, clean, no dust. If it have any dust in the event that it have dust, which most likely it will have. I recommend you use a very bright light, at least put it at an angle when you're doing this. So in the event it have any dust, you'll definitely see it show up. With that dust there, you just need to use the included dust removal stickers. Just stick them down, start pulling the dust up. And once it's sure that the screen perfectly clean and ready for the installation, now the very fun, but also very nerve-wracking and hard part starts. So you take the little black bridge that included in the box and you put it into the notches in the top thing. And then you take the little bottle with the glue, which actually had two included, just, I don't know if it's just in case you mess up one, or if you're supposed to use the two, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use the two. Not really sure. If you use a white stone dome screen protector, let me know in the comments below. But I used one. I just put it in the little bridge, in the little hole for it. And you take the first cover off before you put it in. Once you take that cover off, nothing will fall out of the glue bottle because the top cover is still on. The colored one is the top cover. So you take off the main cover, you put it in the hole. That's the perfect alignment where it's supposed to be. Now might be a good time to tell you, you need to be doing this on a perfectly even, a perfectly level surface. Because if it's not even, once that glue falls on the screen, it'll kind of tilt to the left or the right, wherever the surface tilted. So if you don't have an even surface, just kind of just like stick some stuff underneath the bottom thingy to raise it or drop it wherever you need it to be. And you can just take like one of the glue bottles, rest it on top and see if it'll roll into any one of the sides. Once it's not rolling and perfectly center, you're ready to drop the glue. Once you're ready for the glue, you take the top cover off of the glue and that will release all the glue that is in the bottle onto the display of your smartphone. Now remember the glue wouldn't be getting anywhere because you have the stickers protecting the earpiece and the speakers and all of that. Once the glue is just perfectly situated in the spot that it needs to be, next step is take the little tab included and stick it into the hole on the bottom. So this would actually hold the screen protector up so you can make small adjustments before it actually releases and that kind of touches the glue and kind of sticks to the device. So you put that tab in, you peel the screen protector back and off, you rest it down, and like I say, it's virtually impossible to mess up the lineup because the top thing is just made to line it up perfectly. So you line it up exactly how you need to line it up, and once you rest the screen protector down, one side of the screen protector will be resting on this little tab thingy, so it wouldn't actually be touching the glue yet. So make your final adjustments. Uh, once you're ready, be sure you're ready. Once you're fully 100% ready, just pull that tab out. That will release the thing that is actually holding the screen protector from touching the glue. Everything will drop down and the glue will start spreading. Now, all you have to do, this was the hardest part for me, just wait. 
just wait trust me this is literally hardest part for me just wait just give it a few seconds maybe a minute maybe a minute and a half for the glue to spread through the entire device just realize i did not put the glue absorbent on the sides so if you're watching this video before you put one on make sure to put those glue absorbents on the side so i would actually take the excess glue out from falling on your desk on your table on all your stuff especially on your hands like mine did and mess up everything put those glue absorbents in and do not touch the screen protector once the glue starts to spread just leave it once it spreads to all the, the entire screen protector off the edge and everything now it's another fun part you take the included uv light in the box they actually include a uv light with a micro usb cable plug one side of the usb cable into power and the micro usb side into the uv light and just rest the uv light over the top of the device turn it on for 15 seconds once that 15 seconds is up put it at the bottom of the device give it 15 seconds again there and that kind of pre heals the glue i don't know if that's the best term to use but it kind of heals the glue so that when you touch the screen protector it wouldn't be moving around i'm pretty sure you're supposed to use the uv light to heal the screen protector after you took the top off the top thing but i didn't so the glue healed between the bottom and top thing on mine so i had to kind of break it off a little bit but once you finish with that and everything is off you just need to take the next included alcohol swab and just clean out all the places that have glue that you don't really want it to be there so like on the outside of the screen protectors if any fell to the side or the top of the phone you just clean it off because when this glue heals it is healed so make sure you get all the unwanted glue away from the device once you finish is the final step which is leave the uv light on the top of the phone and the bottom of the phone for around a minute and a half each once you finish the screen protector is on this is one of the best screen protectors i ever used in my entire life in fact i'll go even as far as saying it probably is the best screen protector I ever used in my life the quality is superb the installation process is so much fun the most intricate process ever you feel like a doctor or a surgeon putting it on but once it's there it's there and it's the first screen protector that actually looks like you have nothing on the device because the sides have like the two point i use 2.5d screen protectors already but you kind of see that curve down with the white stone dome you, you do see that curve it's just a perfect perfect fit to your device first time in my life my iphone 10 looks like it have no screen protector on it unless you look at the notch obviously the pixel 2 xl looks perfect i've been using it on the pixel 2 xl and the iphone 10 for like maybe three or four days zero signs of raising up it's just so perfect I, w I never felt to recommend something so much as I do with the Whitestone Dome screen protector. It's a little pricey, but trust me, it's worth every single penny. It's like around $49, I believe, $50 for one. Check it out. I'll leave the link below to the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 XL. Whichever phone you're using for, just click that link or just search for your device, Whitestone Dome, and buy it. Trust me. It's one of the best. It, it is the best screen protector I ever used. I'm pretty sure it will be the best screen protector you ever use. Buy it. Trust me. Buy it 100%. I fully, fully recommend it. I could not be happier. Thanks so much for watching this video. Go buy one or message them. Follow them on Instagram and tell them Devon sent you. And tell them to send me some more screen protectors too because I have other phones and I kind of, you know, if I could get one for every single phone, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one if you buy a white stone dome screen protector and you put it on tag me on instagram at devonxcott by the way follow me there now thanks so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one <laughs>